Hello everyone, here we are with St Babylon 5 CCG cards. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> if you remember right, if you saw my previous video, I opened up a box of these Babylon 5 uh, CCG cards. Now, what I did learn from that, I learned several things, and again, I've never played the game yet, and so I plan to learn, but you had your premiere set, and then... After the premiere set, they released these uh, Shadow Wars CCG cards. So this is the second set. Then after that, they had a re-release where they re-released all the cards, and then the fixed cards are the, are the ones that were in the starter sets. So every box, every, uh, uh, every pack in here had <coughs> commons, uncommons, had the one rare, and then had a fixed card that was from the actual um, starter sets of the premiere set. So, I do have one box of the Premiere set coming for the humans, and that's the other thing I learned. I watched some videos, and again, you have your race cards, and that's where you, pl you, you play from. You have your humans, you have your Narns, you have your Mambari, and then you have your uh, humans, Narns, Mambari, Centauri. There you go. So, the fixed cards, again... Um, uh, this card set has one of those in every single one. I'm gonna get. Uh, I do have a box of the human ones on the way, and we'll see, and I'll do a video for that opening as well. Um, and so, all right, let's go ahead. Uh, let's see what this box has inside of it. All right, um, uh, we will be opening this here, Shadow War. So let's go ahead and crack this box open. And see what we can find. Um, last time in my first box of Babylon 5, I got a Sheridan and I got a Bester. I got a few other cards, but I'm still in the process of learning Star Trek CCG and I'm beginning to look at Babylon 5. All right, so we're going ahead and just, we're going to pop this open like it should be popped open. Oh, let's see if we can get it open nice. There we go. All right. The Shadow War. So it looks like this is going to be our checklist again. Um, so I will do a checklist video. And it will be shorter because in this series, again, it's a smaller series, we have our commons, uncommons, and then our rares. It looks like there are a lot of rares. Um, let's see. Let's look at the box. There are 18 packs in this, not 24, which is probably why it's a little cheaper. Oh, but they're... 12 card packs, so the packs are actually bigger, so I take that back. So, let's go ahead, open this up, and let's see here, we're going to take the first stack out here, and put take the second stack, and then we will go ahead and stick this right over in that corner. We're going to fold this back up, and for those of you that have watched any of my Booster openings, I use a scissors, and I prefer that, um, with one exception. If you have cards that are square and they have the older wrappings, that can be a real pain in the butt. Uh, but for repackaging, for keeping the packages looking nice, and let's be honest with you, these packages look pretty cool. Um, it's a good idea to do it this way and sometimes you like in the uh i run some uh booster packs of the oh what was it um some magic set that the booster packs were just really really tight um and it was a pain in the butt to get them out so all right but we don't want to cut any cards oh what am i doing here oh dang um, alright, we're going to have to read this. I do prefer cutting from the top because then it's always face up if I decide to do anything with it. Um, and I do have a tendency to keep some of the wrappings. I think, I think they can be kind of cool. I generally keep them in the boxes. <clears throat> alright, there we go. We're almost, oh, we did these already. Let's do this. And it's a good thing that I'm doing this. I am feeling some cards 
that are not in their proper position and need to be pushed down. But this is another way of just protecting your cards, guys. All right, let's go ahead and use the scissors. The scissors. All right. Oh, and I'm constantly trying to remind myself that if you guys like the footage that you guys are seeing, the content, please subscribe and give that nice thumbs up. Um, and also, that's right, share with your friends. All right. Those of you that are CCG playing uh, players, definitely will get into this. If you know have friends that play cards, send them this information. It might get more players out there. Um, and again, one of the coolest things about online, or I guess I try to take the best out of what I'm going through. doesn't matter what it is. And as we know, we all are living through this coronavirus. And I try, try to take the best out of that. Um, there's a lot of cool online things being made available. Um, one of those is people putting games online and some of these old games you can pl pretty much play for free so i highly recommend <clears throat> a learning from some cards to so go to ebay find some like cheap cards uh, again i don't have any advice really on whether the cards are really worth it in the aspect of how well they're packed um, I can tell you that Star Trek Premier, Premier cards were not packed very well, um, and I wasn't happy. So, you'll have to kind of look into this yourself, but there are 12 cards a pack, and let's see here. I wish I knew which one my rare was. Um, so, we're going to bring this pack. So, this is what I learned last time. Is I brought this out and I kind of searched which was my, which was my rare. So I got a pen over here. We're gonna go through the first pack like so. All right, we have a survey enforced. This is a conflict card. So again, you have your different types. Conflict is one of them. Um, survey uh, definitely, most likely in the commons. So we're gonna look for that survey. S U Y. Um, uncommon. Survey and force. So, I find that kind of interesting. The very first... The very first uh, card is actually an uncommon. I'm used to them being the common cards. Um, so, uncommon. And we're going to put this in stack our, our conflicts right there. We have another conflict, ext extermination, and that is also uncommon, and it's a conflict. And then um, I'm going to bet these are some of our, uh, let's see here, so a lot of the events, I noticed at least in the uh, first booster I did, sorry, first box I did, were the common, so we're going to start over there. A moment of beauty. And, nope, that's uncommon still. So it's our third uncommon card. Right now, I'll stack that with the uncommons. Lost in Shadows. Um, lost in Shadows. Lost. So I'm not seeing... Let's see over here. L-M. L-M. Let's go look over in our rares real quickly. Um, Lost in Shadows. So, we have <clears throat> our first rare card, the White Star. That, hopefully, white, the, the White Star. So, that is our second rare. So, I have two rares in here, guys. All right, Hidden Safe House. So, one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven cards left in this. Hidden safe house. I'm going to check the rares first. 
Hidden Corruption? No. Hidden Safe House. Hidden Safe House is a common card. So it's going to go over to our Commons category. And so I'm kind of making this to figure out how these packs uh, are packed and seeing if they're all the same. Um, let's see here. Another common. Ambiguous Captain. And then Aiming the Vor Vorlons. Aiding the Vor Vorlons. Aiding the Vorlons. All right. Prey on the Weak. Hmm. Prey on the Weak. L. Prey on the Weak. There we go. Common. Block Progress. Up here. At Atmospheric Fighter. I remember the Atmospheric Fighter. Atmospheric Fighter up there. Also in the common. And then Their Own Destiny. Ah, I remember this episode. Good. Their Own Destiny. Alright, so. It looks like it goes on common with three. Two rares. And then seven commons. So let's go to our next pack and see if it's the same thing. All right, we reducing risk. So let's start with our con commons. Reducing risk is there. Liberating resources. Let's see here, liberating resources. Liberating resources. Uncommon, and then Minister Verina. Verina. So a character card. Um, Minister Verina. Let's see here. M. All right, those are our uncommons. Here are, should be our two rare cards. Gather rebels. Right there, yeah. And growing skepticism. Growing skepticism. Skepticism. So again, I really don't know how to play this game, um, but I'm trying to build a sort uh, a, a large card base to learn from. And there are I have watched a few videos, um, uh, not all the way through. To get some general ideas and some things, um, and then I've read a little bit of things. See, glitch, right there. Common, not in vain. Where poor Shakar is being tortured, and he's starting to scream. Not in vain. All right. Okay, this is cool. It's and it is a character card. Everybody must love Zathras. But which Zathras do you like, Zathras or Zathras? All right, Zathras, and he's common, but he's worth being a rare. Maybe Zathras is. All right, you have to watch the show. If you haven't watched the show, you need to watch the show. Um, temporal, temporal aid, tempor temporary aid, temporary aid, temporary aid. Right there. All right, underground resistance. Right here. Bloodied, but unbound. And Long Night. Long Night. Aftermath. Long Night. Ah, oh, missing it. L. I'm not going back for I. L. M. Okay, so this is what's throwing me off. Long Night is not in the... Con oh, The Long Night. Okay. The Long Night. So, remember to look at the The. Alright, so... Um, <sighs> I've already checked off some of these. 
Uh, I'm going to put these commons here. I'm going to put these uncommons up here. Oh, sorry, those rares up there and the uncommons I will put right next to the commons. Now, to make sure we don't have a glitch, and then we're going to make this go faster. See here, I'm going to do just the uncommons and the rares. So real quickly for the uncommons, government hostility. Um, yep, that's there. At peak performance, that's there. And loyalty, loyal guardsmen. Loyal guardsmen. There we go. And then for our rares, um, covering weaknesses. It's an event. Covering weaknesses. Uh, covering weaknesses and then manifesting destiny. M. M. In manifesting destiny. Okay, so that's three packs. We're got that. I'll put the uncommons there. I'm going to add these rares into the new pile and we're going to start working on <clears throat> the organization of them. So, uh, fleet enhancement. Oh, geez. So, we're going to have two piles. Well, All right, here's what we're going to do. Fleet Enhancement. Right there. So, we have Events. Um, mobilize Resistance is a Fleet Enhancement. Um, event, Things to Come. Let's put that over there. Another Event, um, sub Subsequent Chances. Um, Debt of Gratitude, an Aftermath card. Another event, convicting words. Another event, rebuilding effort. And an aftermath, math. Um, Vorlon's assistance. Ascendant. Vorlon ascendant. That's an aftermath. All right. So my uncommon is going to be um, Global Enhancement, um, Reeling from the Bow, another Aftermath, Associated, Associates Revealed, and oh, this is a cool one, a Vorlon Cruiser. Okay. I like that card. Those are on my uncommons. Let's so those are my oh jeez, I need to, I need to do another pack. The stack. There we go. So I'm not gonna organize them because again when we check them off, we need to check them off in you know on the it's easier because they're in different areas and then you don't want to look for them. So I'm gonna instead of organizing them, put them that way. We will do commons and commons. We'll do the commons up there. Um, but let's go ahead and do the rares now. Um, Fleet en Enhancement Recalled. That's a rare. Attack Babylon 5. No, 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 it's not Attack Babylon 5. Alright. Personal Insult. That's our common. It's an event. And then we have a character. Bro Brother Thou. I like that. Neutral character. So I'm going to start adding character cards there. And then we have a human fleet support. So we're going to add fleet support over here. And then we have an event withdrawal. Another event search for direction. And I think this is more of a headache where uh, Jakar is getting a headache. And then we have an aftermath. Um, casual casualties. I don't remember this uh, this picture at all, but aftermath. Um, trivial trivial gain event. 
All right. Another booster here. <gasps> Zathras! Hang on. Where's my Zathras card? Where's my Zathras? He's coming. Okay, we gotta look at this. Where's my Zathras? Ah, Zathras. So, Zathras and Zathras. If you all wondered what, how their names are different, that's your answer. Zathras. Now, which one was the uncommon? This one was the uncommon. And this was the common up here. So, another uncommon it is a conflict card leaving the past. So, conflicts we'll put over here. And, oh, uncommon. And let's stack them here now. Ancient Rivals in Aftermath. My last uncommon for this set. And then my rare. And it's an event. Supreme Unrest. Um. And then Stolen Spoils. It's an Aftermath. Um. Requires two Shadow Markers to play. Alright. And again, there are these markers. I don't know what the markers are. So... You could probably use dice for that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards left. So conflict, delay the war. Um, it's a conflict card. Where are my conflict cards? I have no conflict cards. All right, aiding the shadows event card. Night watch agent. Let's be honest, they are all dickheads. So character card. The Long Night. We've gotten this one already. But we'll go ahead and put that in the aftermath. Ooh, this looks good. Removed from Power. Conflict card. I love Delenn. She's great. And, in fact, she's probably one of the reasons why I watch uh, Lost. Um, then we have a Volon Proxy. Uh... Faction en Enhancement. That's interesting. interesting. And then we have Support Fleet. A Mabari Fleet. Another Fleet card. Alright. Next booster pack. Um, Corrupted Destiny. So, right there. It's a Conflict card in my unca common category. Um, statement of pos position. And it's a conflict. Initial opposition. Event card. Alright. Those are my uncommons. Now for my rares. And this is a knowledge then action is the card name, but it's a character enhancement. Target a character with Scion. Sci, sci, with Psy ability. Um, the character's controller may as the character's controller may, as an action, discard this event and rotate the characters to take no actions immediately. Again, it's my rare. I don't really understand what that means yet. Yet, So, um, I have a video prepped to, to learn how to play. So, alright, we have a Centauri character here. Emperor Cardia, Carnassia. Yes, that would be that crazy lunatic. Yes, but I have his character. And he is evil. Alright. Common cards. We have... Emergency Repair, Event Card. We have Disruption, Conflict Card. Uncertain Followers, Faction en Enhancement. 
a Narn fleet card. Again, I wish I always said ships because I think I think they're they're they they're not a fleet. They're a ship card for probably some kind of ship combat. All right, event force the issue um, requires one shadow mark to play. Target any player on the next turn. He must immediately he must initiate a conflict. Or lose one influence. So again, the, this, this has something to do with markers. All right, let's go ahead and put this with the conflict cards over here, where they should be. And what we'll do is see here, so un so unrest, a conflict card. Trouble is a uh, trouble brewing, event card. And let's be honest with you, Garibaldi is wonderful. All right, let's put that over here. Um, I don't know what character cards we're going to have in this series. I'm very much hoping, again, we have different versions of the same characters. But let's go ahead and let's work on our uncommons right now. So, two predictable event card. Night Watch Enforcers. Human Group. Revealed from the blow wait, revealing revealing from the blows um, global enhancement yeah I got that right I keep on wanting to say enchantment so I believe oh boy that's why I put these here I think those are my my uncommons one two I think those are my rares one two three four five six seven so these are my commons these are my rares kind of lost count um, elim eliminate threats. It's an event card. That's my rare. Walkabout. La uh, it's a aftermath. Um, so I never really liked the walkabout story thing. I thought it was kind of stupid. I think that's why I have an issue with Franklin. Um, all right. So let's put my own commons up here. Let's go through the commons. We have re rapid recovery event. Aiding the Vorlons. We got that one. Act of War event, Public Outcry Aftermath. Te uh, we got this one already. Temporary Aid. Uh, moment Refit. Modern Refit. Let's see here. Reduces any damage target suffers in attacks by one. Interesting. Uh, it is a fleet enhancement. And this is an event. Block progress. Alright. So I'm already starting to get some cards I've, I've already seen in the common department. Um, there are several in that one. So here are our uncommons. Remind me to stack them here. Rampage. It's an event. Nightwatch. We've seen that. And then Twisting the Knife. This is also an aftermath. So... Now let's do the rares. Um, so this is an enhancement. Preminence. Preminence. Yeah, you guys see that. And then we have a Mambari character, Colin, as well. So, um... I'm... So I'm going to do another video and looking uh, looking through both these sets and going through the cards and probably character cards and stuff. So let's go ahead and look at, uh, this is a fleet enhancement, modern refrit. We just saw this. We've seen this event before. Um, this is a uh, support fleet. It's a Centauri fleet, so we have not seen that. Emergency repair, I think we've seen that. Impasse, a uh, conflict card. Um, over there. We can't allow that. It's an event card. And fleet support. A Narn fleet. So let's put that over there. And let's move to some more packs. So we're not all halfway through yet. I think we're getting close though. So my first char uh, Narn character is... 
It's a Narn character. Na Mel, Na Mel. It looks like Shakar though. So, so this is my uncommon. And oh, this is pretty cool. Uncommon, a shadow ship. So again, this is the shadows deck. It should have shadows in it. Um, Centauri location. So this is my first location. Um, in my last pack, I got two or three locations. I got two locations that were uncommon, and I think a few that were un that were rare. So in the last booster box. So this is my first location. And that goes to Uncommon. So we're going to leave that there. Stack these up here. And here are my two rares. Um, stripped. stripped Bear. An event card. Alright. And then To the Victor. An Aftermath card. With a Shadow Vest or ve Vessel in there. Alright. Squared. Um, event cards. Squared changes. Um, a fleet, co human fleet, uh, support fleet. We've seen the glitch. Um, building effort, we've seen. Um, Volon assistance, we've seen this as an aftermath card. Another glitch card. And not in vain, an event card. So we're starting to see more and more duplicates, so I'm most likely going to skip through to make this faster. Uh, common cards, unless I see one I have not recognized. So, let's go ahead and stay with the uncommon. We have Slow Poison, Conflict. He deserved it. Peak, at peak performance event. I think I've seen that though. Um, Clostra, Clost catastrophic damage and aftermath math those are my three uh uncommons and then my two rares are the young rescues re the young res race oh the young races rise babylon 5 enhancement so that seems pretty cool actually um to the victors we saw this one already so that was in the last pack all right, I do want to mention we have another Zathros. Not Zathros, Zathros. All right, put that over here. Um, temporary aid is in your underground resistance. We've seen that. Bloody, we've seen that. The long night, good, mat, good night, aftermath. Hidden safe house. So hidden safe house event, I don't think we've seen this one yet. Uh, event card. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so this is one we haven't seen. A Centauri character. Ambitious, ambitious captain. So again, they're not named characters, but um, most of them I think didn't have a uh, didn't have names, which is why they do that. All right, my three uncommons is portents. Portents, portents it's event an, an event building in infrastructure an agenda. My first agenda. And Shadow Aid, a conflict card. All right, those are my uncommons. My two rares. Oh, this is pretty good. Dedicated Follower. Uh, I really do like this episode. So that's my rare. And then Ambassador Kosh. Okay, so this is one of the reasons why I kind of want to go through the packs and the cards I've received. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this after I get the Great War is... There's something you, 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 everything is around your ambassador. And so this is pretty cool. I got a character, but it's an ambassador, Ambassador Kosh. So that is one of my rares. I'm actually going to stick that over here in its own little pile. So now I have Aiding the Vorlons event. We've seen that. Uh, Prey on the Week conflict. Where my conflict? Conflict is over there. Uh, block progress. Um, Atmospheres Fighter, um, Their Own Destiny event, I've seen that Modern Rift, see here, and then Aiding the Shadows. So, again, I'm pretty sure I have you close to all the commons right now. Um, high Level Connections is a group card for the, uh, so I'm just, so one of my rares went over there, the other one's over there for my last pack, and then, um, Extermination is a conflict card, but uncommon. 
the death of the evil emperor. Um, let's see here. Um, reverse engineer. Conflict card. Alright, those are my uncommons. Alright. To stand alone is my rare. It's a f faction enchantment. So it has um, John. I keep on forgetting his name, mixing his name with uh, the other cap, Commander. So Commander Sinclair, John. S Gosh. I don't know why. I've never had this issue before. But anyway, let's, stay, let's focus on the cards. In the Spotlight, Aftermath card, my two rare cards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are some cards in here I I don't recognize. So, but I do recognize Support Fleet, um, Emergency Repairs, Impasse, Conflict. Uh, we can't allow this event. Another Support so, uh, Support Fleet and Directing Events. So this is an event card I have not seen for the commons. It's uh, directing events right there. All right, and this is also slow recovery. It's an aftermath. I haven't seen that one either. All right. All right, now we are over halfway done. We have one, two, three, four, five, six packs left. Let's go ahead and get through this, guys. All right. Um, Conquered Holdings. Low morale. So Concord Holdings is actually a Narn location, so a second location. Um, a, a faction enchant enhancement is low morale. I, another Zathras. We all love Zathras. Not Zathras, and I may do that every single time I get Zathras, because I like saying Zathras. All right. But moving on. My two rares is Sworn to the Shadows, character enhancement. I'll let you see that one. Evil dude. Oh, this one's even oh, this one's even better. Mr. Morton. So I have Mr. Morton now. Neutral character. Alright. Alright, so those are my two rares. Now my uncommons is Debt of Gratitude and Aftermath. Um Personal Insult, seen that. Mobilize root. Mobilized Reserves. I have not seen this fleet enhancement, I don't think. Alright. Um, convincing Words. Convic convincing Words. I don't recall seeing this one either. Um, casualties is an aftermath. I've seen that. Not in vain. Seen it. Uncertain Followers. Seen that. Okay. Now, we have... Um, PPG rifles, so a character enhancement, a weapon, and I do remember some kind of enhancement in the uh, uh, first series I opened up. All right, we've also seen this aftermath already, and we just got this Narn location, so um, I'm curious how those locations work. All right, so those are my uncommons. I'm going to stack those up here. I would have rather had Zathras, or Zathras. So I changed it up a little bit. All right, um, Lash Out event. And um, an agenda, Forging Alliances. And so we have a glitch, disruption, uh, conflict, uh, their own destiny, seen that, seen that. Uh, those are aftermaths, and then I've seen these two events. So, all right. All right, let's put these rares up here. I really hate so it's uncommon. I just you see a ding in a card, it's annoying. So um, I've already seen this character card. It's a Narn Na Mel uh, Shadow Ship. We've seen. We've also seen Centauri. Uh, no, we have not seen a Centauri location. Talanus Seven. Talanus Seven. So those are my uncommons. And Fast Learner. Okay. Uh, my rare is a character enhancement, and it's Fast Learner. Uh, this is the episode, I think it's the only episode where I feel like I have to leave the room because it's so embarrassing. Oh, oh, I got Zathras and Zathras. Neutral character. Zathras and Zathras in the picture. But two Zathras. 
another Zathras. I'm happy with that. But character card, so we'll go ahead and put that there. All right. Temporary A, we've seen that. We've seen that. Uh, location enhancement event, we've seen. We've seen Long Night. That is an aftermath. We've seen this event. And we have seen this uh, Centauri character. All right. Okay. All right. Into their own. Aftermath Diplomacy. Um, so that is... Let's put my commons up here. Uh, we have not seen that. It's an aftermath. Um, reverse Engineering. I think we have seen that. And obser Observation Post is a Vorlon location. That's actually pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I have not seen that. I consider something like that to be more of a rare. But here are my two rares. Uncertain Futures. Uh, and I like the fact that Mr. Morden is very uncertain right now. Event. Um, let's put my rares up there. And then... Uh, permanent Wounds. Aftermath. So, Jakar, after his uh, eye is gouged at. Alright, so, Vorlon Assistance. We've seen this. It's an Aftermath. We've seen this conflict with Delin, withdraw. I don't know if we've seen withdraw. It's an event. Um, Night Watch, human character. We've seen that. Rebuilding effort, support fleet, Mimbari. I do not recall seeing this one. And trouble brewing event. All right. So my three uncommons. First one is a facility enhancement. Per, uh, per Judas grows. I do not. Yeah, that's it. All right. Uh, we've seen this event already. Seeds of an anarchy. Anarchy. Oh, seeds of an anarchy. A conflict card. So that takes us to our rares. We'll go ahead and look at that now. Calling the shot. Facility Enhancement. And then we have Psionic Pacif Pacification. Psionic Pacification, a conflict card. Alright, and then we have Delay the War, Conflict for Common. Search. No, Event, we've seen that. Public, yep, we've seen this Aftermath, we've seen this Event. Um, I will note, I have another character, uh, Brother Thou. So, I don't know if you can have more than one character card in your deck of the same character. Things to come. I don't... I don't recognize that card. But we got Zathras. Not Zathras or Zathras, we got Zathras. All right. I will never get tired of that joke, by the way. All right, last pack, guys. So my uh, first uncommon is body armor. Probably a good thing to have. Character enhancement. Military buildup, agenda. And Vorlon protection. All right, global enhancement. Um... Presidential Corp, uh, global enhancement, but it, the president ship is exploding, so I find that very interesting. So we'll put that rare there. And this is looking ahead, uh, conflict card. And then um, underground resistance, we've seen that, it's an enhancement. We've seen this event, we've seen this conflict, we've seen this enhancement, we've seen this character. We've seen this fleet, and there we've seen that uh, common as well. All right, guys. So that is all the uh, boosters from this particular box. So let's just go over a few things first of all. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just move these stacks so you guys can see them better. And I just wanted you to see what I was able to get out of this. 
So I'm going to move my uncommons down here in front and my rares here as well. So put these uncommons with the uncommons. Rares with the rares. So up here are my character cards. And here are my conflict cards. So, and we have some more here. Um, these are the rares I've already checked off. These are the commons we've already checked off. And this over here are the, oh sorry, commons, uncommons, and these are the rares. Let's put them in that order. So, these stacks in front of me do get a little bit taller, but not much. So, what I noticed from the last booster I opened is that you get a lot of events. Um, so that's like the most. You also get a fair amount of aftermath cards and conflict cards, and the cards are kind of the same. But let's go ahead and focus on our our fleet cards our character cards, and then our enhancements. And then our locations uh, we also got, and our agendas were all in our common and uncommon. So we'll look at that later, but let's just go ahead and look at the fleets. So you have, I'm going to move these over here. For fleets, you have a Centauri fleet, a Mumbari fleet, a Narn fleet, another Centauri fleet, a Human fleet, a Narn fleet, Centauri fleet, another Narn, a Mumbari fleet, and a human fleet. So this must be in some way some kind of... I mean, I, again, I don't know if these are... Uh, so let's read what it says. Um, cannot attack. So apparently there's an attacking thing, but this cannot attack. This is a support fleet. Um, they're all support fleets. Rotate to enhance an, any other Centauri fleet while the support fleet is rotated. That fleet gains two military. This fleet is n neutralized in the fleet. It is enhanced. Enhancing is neutralized. We also, this last sentence, this fleet is enhanced if the fleet is enhancing and neutralized. Okay, I, I don't really, again, I don't get that. I think it's part, part of it's the game mechanics. I, I, I don't know them yet. Um, this is uh, multiply, cannot support or attack. Uh, this is the Mbari fleet. And again, there's more things here, but I think reading them right now is kind of a waste of time. Uh, multiply, cannot support. Can, okay, so again, human fleet, multiply, cannot support or attack. So what I am getting from this card is this, this particular fleet, it cannot attack. This Narn fleet cannot support. The Mumbari cannot support or attack, but it has a multiply on some of these except for the Centauri, and this human fleet cannot uh, support or attack. So, I really don't know what that means, but I just kind of wanted to take a look at the cards to see what they had on them a little bit. Here's our character cards. So we have a Centauri character, we have a Zathras, we have, uh, so he's neutral, another neutral character, another uh, human character. Centauri character, another neutral, which is Zathras. Centauri character, right here. Same character, by the way. Zathras again. Human character. Okay, so it looks like it's the same. I want to say it's almost the same thing as the fleet thing that I got. It's the same pattern. I got two. Uh, I ha there are four things, but there are two over here, and there are three in another thing as well. So I think they really did this based on boost on the box itself but um again this is a um it's not going for individual characters but again this is a centauri character if this character is leading a damaged fleet he cannot 
sustain his action. All right, Zathras. So that tells us a little more about the game, but uh, again, that that raises more questions for me. Last thing I want to do is look at these enhancements because a you have facility enhancements, location enhancement, location enhan enhancement. Another facility enhancement, a fleet enhancement, fleet enhancement, facility, location, fleet enhancement, fleet enhancement, facility, a facility enhancement, and a fleet enhancement. So for the fleet enhancement, we'll read one of those cards, and yes, I'm choosing the most simple. Um, reduce any damage target suffers in attacks by one. So again, damage can be taken is what we learned from that card. Um, let's go ahead. This is a location. So we'll go ahead and try to read this. Target a location which is not loyal to the same race as the faction that controls it during re resolution apply oppose oppos opposition to any inter any conflicts um, by that faction equal to one fifth of the location's normal military hmm um, discard this enhancement if the location is ever controlled by a faction of the same race as the location. Okay, so, that said a lot, I don't get it all, but, um, I did notice, I, th I want to say maybe these numbers at the bottom are some kind of military numbers. Um, I don't, again, I don't, I have no clue what that means. But I may be totally wrong. Military may be a character card. Um, and let's go ahead and read uh, this faction event. All of the fleets gain plus two military while participating in a conflict targeting a location. So that's interesting. All right, so... Those are all the commons right now. Again, we have our rares. I'll do another video at some point on that. And we have this one ambassador. This is partially why I wanted to deal with this. So every, when you play, you have an ambassador. And I think you can have more than one ambassador. And, but you don't want to, those ambassadors, they can be killed, I'm guessing. And you lose a game if you have no ambassadors or something like that. I don't understand. Or... I think I got a hint of a side deck of character cards or ambassador cards. That might be part of it. So, again, uh, keep an eye out for ambassadors. It's still considered a character card, though. Um, but I like the fact that I got ambassador Kosh. So, anyway, with that, guys, um, I'll be doing a video checking these things off. And um, I will also be doing a video with organization later and uh, doing this. But I have one more set, uh, box set series coming called The Great War. And I'll catch you guys then. Have a great night.